welcome to the build. Um, in the interest of me not losing my mind and getting too bored during uh, of wiring and basically just fiddly stuff up at the front of the car today, um, we're going to do something a bit different. So my plan today is to button up the rear of the car. Um, what I mean by this is I intend to fit the rear anti-roll bar and wire uh, mounts for those. I've also got to clean off a load of gunk and other stuff like from the old kind of um, kind of there, there was reflective pads here. Got to clean those off. Uh, I've got to tidy up slash make a nice solution for these bolts as someone bolted a TD5 style um, wheel carrier to the rear door um, obviously and it wasn't designed for it so you get this ripping of the aluminium which is not ideal um, I've also yeah got to refit some nice nice big stainless bolts in here as the other side were missing them these side did have some but they didn't have any washers hence why it's mashed up the paintwork um, and also I've got to take off this horrible old boring stock looking Land Rover badge and I've definitely got to take off the twisted performance one um, I've been meaning to do it for years actually I've just never got around to it um, I'm also gonna have to later on I'm gonna have to look into doing a bit of paint work on this rear door and a couple of other areas like down here It's just looking a bit naff um, But I'm not gonna rush into doing that as I kind of want to be able to use it and tend to go traveling in it So I don't want to make a pristine paint job and then not be able to well, then worry about using it I've also got to put some bolts uh, in here and fill in the old holes for the wheel carrier I'll probably do that with two two um, just stock bolts um, and then I'll probably um, I'll probably just paint them black or lose them just try and lose them the like paint them body color when I get around to it there's a couple other similar bits like this uh, which I'm gonna have to get painted in or filled or something in the future these were existing kind of bolt holes and other bits and bobs that the old you owner had the main um, reason that I really wanted to go to the back of the car and focus on that today it's because of this. Um, it arrived yesterday. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I'm really excited to get it fitted to the car. It's a bit dusty. It's been sat out here in the sun. Um, this is the ore steering carrier. Um, it's a sit pivots on a single point um, off the cross member, taking all the pressure off of the rear door and uh, stopping it from doing what's happened to mine and happens to a lot of Defender doors when you put a not bigger, heavier spare wheel on it, um, it cracks the inner door frame um, and leads to the door just getting really mashed up and pretty horrible. Um, so yeah, this I'm gonna be fitting. I'll show you guys how I'd go about that. Um, and I'm just really excited to get it onto the car. It's gonna look amazing. It's an absolutely amazing bit of engineering and I can't wait to sit on it with my wheel on it and see if it can hold my weight. Um, I've seen it done, but I'm yet to actually try it. So uh, big thanks to Chris uh, all for um, get, sorting us out with one of these. Um, We've been, talk we've been talking to each other about this uh, for a while and uh, just really, really excited to get on the car. So, a lot of people, um, when they look, look at the all-wheel carrier, go, wow, what a bit of kit, but kind of don't really necessarily understand why you need such kind of over-engineering in some regard um, when the Defender doors can technically hold and were designed to hold the weight of a wheel. Well, what happens is over time, uh, especially if you're running bigger wheels and tires like mine, um, so I'm running 16s, uh, 285 65s, I think they are. Um, and what happens is, as you can see on the door here, um, you just crack the hell out of it on the existing mount. Um, what happens is it just vibrates, vibrates, it's not, the door's not designed for the weight, and eventually all the seams, this one as well, all crack, fracture, um, just after from the vibration, same down there. This whole door um, is really taking some abuse. And uh, I fitted a standard kind of cheapo Brit part, whatever it was, uh, wheel carrier some time ago, and um, it's it did help somewhat but the door was still incredibly heavy uh, to close there was still a degree of that weight was still held on the rear door and uh, it's still just not very good for the rear door um, don't get me wrong the all wheel carriers can be seen as a little bit expensive 
um, but I think it's worth every penny, especially considered um, if you're going traveling, in my case, I want to hang bikes off of the wheel carrier. Um, Chris uh, or has uh, put me in contact with a guy, I believe it was in Switzerland, uh, or who's running the all-wheel carrier with his spare wheel on it, which is not a small spare wheel, and then he's running a bike rack on top of that um, with two two bikes on it, um, and he's been running that for nearly a year now, uh, nearly constantly as well, with the, that weight on there, and it's not suffered at all. So for my purpose, um, it is gonna be the dog's bollocks, it's gonna be perfect. And uh, I'm gonna start fitting now, and I look, can't wait to see what it looks like on the car. Right, so here are the instructions. They come in this lovely or letter, um, nice and professional. Um, you get thorough, thorough instructions. Um, no messing around there. Um, unlike a lot of other wheel carriers and stuff that I've fitted, normally they are an absolute nightmare and you're kind of playing a guessing game. But this is looking relatively easy. Um, just gonna have a thorough read through before I uh, fit it but yeah that's all that's all good just make sure that we've got all our bits in this also these come in these lovely or material bags I've never seen anything like it um, just lovely just so much nicer than getting like a lot of jiffy bags with a load of rubbish and then everything's nicely labeled to make life nice and easy uh, that's the connector part uh, that goes between the car and uh, the carrier, that's the kind of rubber bump stop to stop it rattling at all, uh, or just make the clothes more gentle really. Uh, they're the main chassis bolts I would presume, and then some of these will be the bolts to mount, uh, mount it to the, uh, mount it to the uh, back of the door itself, and then the others will be for various bits like fastening on the actual bit that holds the wheel and other little bits like that. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'll have a read of the instructions, I'll uh, and then I'll run through it step by step as I do it, fit it to the car, which is now ready, thanks to uh, welding up these cracks in the existing door and just giving them a coat of gloss black. I'll later be doing a plywood kind of uh, door panel, which will tidy it all up nicely. Um, and then on the outside, I've also removed the horrible twisted sticker and horrible Land Rover badge that are there, and also filled in the old holes with some nice big washers, which I'll uh, I'll paint in a moment uh, with some nice gloss black paint, and so that will be nice. So the next step is to get this rubber bump stop, and you mount it to the arm itself. Um, obviously, on the face where it's the face where it's gonna. Uh, t touch into the car. So we're, uh, we're going to fit the wheel carrier itself using the bolt kit provided. Um, Dad's going to help me out with this just so we don't scratch anything. Um, it's going to bolt on here. Uh, there's a spacer plate between here and the cross member and then the actual cr uh, piece itself you'll see when we fit it. And then that backing piece goes onto the cross member and shares the surface area across the backing plate of the cross member to uh, share the load. Um, and just securely fasten it to the cross member. For now, we're just gonna bolt it up loose. I uh, don't wanna tighten everything up too much because uh, still, we've still gotta adjust it and find it and get it level and stuff like that. this to suit and uh, in most cases uh, you want the door plate actually lower than this piece here 
Um, on mine, probably due to the door, the body just being mounted high, uh, due to this being gal chassis, um, that's not possible. So we're going to mount it in the this uh, this backing plate here in the lowest possible position, as that's the best case scenario uh, for this setup. So I'm just going to tight, tighten these bolts up now. So interestingly, uh, in the instructions, uh, it tells you when fitting the wheel carrier uh, that you need to kind of have these these two central bolts kind of central, and that's fine uh, in terms of positioning. Uh, but due to me having optimal hinges, uh, alley hinges, uh, which are beautiful, um, sadly that means that we come into a slight issue where we get a bit of a clash down here, and that's due to the uh, optimal hinges being a lot squarer than standard hinges. Um, so what I'm going to do is as it clashes at that point there, which obviously is the door not quite fully open or not as fully open as I would like, certainly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a classic uh, us and ignore the instructions. We're going to move um, the lower the lower plates down here, keep it nice and level, but we're going to move it over to the right as much as possible. What that's going to do is give us some clearance in here um, and just allow the door to open that bit further. Um, we may have to create a kind of a little pad in there just to stop it clashing on the uh, optimal uh, hinge, but uh, we'll, we'll check it out once we've moved it across first. It may start to clear perfectly. Um, so yeah. Okay, so we've moved the uh, the rear, the bottom part here. Uh, we've now got that clearance we were looking for with the optimal hinge, so you can open it to a ridiculous angle, uh, way too much so, um, than the normal, so that's gonna work well. Uh, what we're probably gonna do is create a little strap internally, uh, maybe going off the existing where the old gas strap was, just to hold it and stop it from going too far and still hitting the, still hitting the uh, lovely optimal hinge. So after fiddling around, uh, we've got all of these nipped up nicely uh, with ni the nylocks provided in the kit, all nice and snug. We've got the bumper kind of closing, so there it's firm. It's a bit bigger than, so about there it's firm and starts to kind of compress the rubber, um, which is gonna allow for that bit of, bit of compression in the rubber and uh, allow everything to be held nice and quietly. You can always just wind on that. Um, yeah, so so pretty happy with the set finally. Uh, we just fitted the final piece, which is this piece here, and it's associated bolt kit. Uh, it has six bolts in total, uh, which are all on these slots. And uh, what that allows you to do is move this part here outwards, um, back and forward, um, to be able to fit different size tires. Obviously, if you've got big old 35s or whatever, they're gonna be a lot thicker and wider. Uh, so we now just kind of need to nip these up loosely, fit the wheel, and kind of just gauge where the spacing needs to be before we nip these up for the final time. Okay, so there you have it. We've got the ore wheel carrier fitted to the car looking amazing with some optimal hinges side by side. It's all making the car, back of the car look so much better. Um, we're just, we've just spaced out the wheel. Uh, this is kind of where we want it to sit. Um, just a way, giving us enough room to get to stuff behind it if we want to. Um, and kind of not sticking out too much though. Um, and yeah, it's looking really, really nice. I'm really happy with it. Relatively simple to install. A couple of teething issues we have, mainly just due to me having a galvanized chassis um, and the kind of associated differences between that and a stock um, stock chassis. But other than that, no issues really. Um, just a bit of fettling around with stuff. Um, everything sitting nicely. Potentially tempted to move the wheel slightly in more, but uh, yeah, for now that's certainly going to do. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, it's just a shame my spare wheel doesn't look as uh, as nice as my uh, BF Goodridge All Terrains. Um, but yeah, no, very, very happy with the product. Nice, nicely designed. Um, not too difficult to install. And yeah, big thanks to Chris and the guys for uh, hooking us up with this. Um, it's going to make a huge difference, and hopefully, mean my rear door uh, lasts a few more years and doesn't disintegrate like uh, like it was with the previous wheel carrier.